I know some people say, you know, why well, have a six pack when you can have a barrel? But uh, every once in a while, it's quite good to just go in between. Sean Pollock had one of the longest careers possible for a fast bowler and as well as being incredibly naturally talented also I'm imagining Sean plenty of fitness <laughs> plenty of health and, and managing to do enough to keep your body ready to go for that long yeah it was hard I mean we weren't to the professional in our, in our initial part of our careers but as we went on there were skin fold tests and everyone had to be quite aware but I wasn't the best I must admit it was uh, when I stopped playing I thought to myself hold on you can add some kgs in you pretty quickly and probably since then I've been a little bit more watchful about what I eat, but the sweet tooth, mm -mm, she never goes. Now you're what now, 45? Yeah, so Lisa, 45. Okay, so I'm 40, so not too far behind. It's a, a period of life where it is quite easy, as I've discovered, to get a little bit bigger. What are Sean Pollock's secrets now to strengthen? Yeah, healthy? that metabolism definitely runs down a little bit. Um, doesn't go as fast as it used to. I, I actually, I do a little bit. I love running and chasing the ball, so I play a little bit of hockey. Um, I play with the girls, I'll go for the odd 5k run and do a stationary bike. So when Manchester United, the Sharks or the Cricket's on, I sit and cycle, I watch those so you actually feel like you're not doing anything. But yeah, I just try and keep as active as I can and I must have cut back on, on some of the sweeter things. So if there was a massive ice cream portion, it's become a minimal ice cream portion and not as many chocolates as I used to eat. Also heard you saying over breakfast earlier, the occasional bit of fasting, does that work for you? Yeah, uh, from a spiritual perspective I do fasting as well um, and, and that obviously gives your body some time to recover. Uh, and I think it just gives that a chance for that metabolism to work through what you've piled up over the years. So that definitely has played its part. So summing that up, it's Team Dan versus Team Jason on this challenge of mine. Mm. Uh, Jason Galas working flat out, he needs to. Uh, final words of inspiration for Team Dan, if I'm going to trim down and get nice and fit and healthy. Yeah, I know some people say, you know, why well, have a six pack when you can have a barrel? But uh, every once in a while, it's quite good to just go in between. So yeah, all the best. I think just keep active as much as you can. Keep walking. Um, and just maybe limit the, the sizes down to what you've been eating. But um, I've got full faith in you. You've, once upon a time, you were a skinny milling. And let's see if we can get you back there. Well, there we go. Sage advice and some wonderful encouragement from the great Sean Pollock.